Hi, Jared Hoyman with VisibleTour.com and is the R6 IBIS like just messed up with certain lenses? And that's the question I have for the community and I wanna show you what's going on and what's not going on with my new R6 camera. Now this is not the full review. The full review will be done in the next few days. I've had this camera, the R6, for uh, since last Wednesday and today is Wednesday, so one week and I have used video walkthrough, 4K 60 frames per second, real world experiences in real estate, have shot nothing but real estate photos with it. Um, right now I am filming on the EOS R, can't even speak. Um, but what I have noticed with this and what I've been super disappointed and I'm hoping it's user error or a simple uh, fix that could be done, is, and by the way, I have firmware 1.1 that this came with, um, but the issue I'm getting, and I'm gonna go over this with each lens, so I have the Tamron 24 to 70 G2. I also have the 16 to 35 Canon EF, um, which has image stabilization in the lens. Um, and I have a Rokinon 12 millimeter fisheye that I've used for uh, 360 interactive tours and stitching and everything with that. And this is 100% manual. And I also have this 50 millimeter 1.8 uh, STM lens for the EF mount. And here's the adapter on there. Uh, and then the Sam Yang, which is a RF mount, which is on there. And I will put it on here just in a few minutes. But I only have two of those lenses that actually use IBIS. Um, the 50 millimeter uses the IBIS, and I'll show you the menu and what that looks like, that it uses the in-body stabilization, which is great because there is no image stabilization on the 50 millimeter, and it does help quite a bit. Uh, the other one is, um, let's see, the Rokinon, which was super surprising. It's completely 100% manual uh, in order, and it, has no digital connection to the camera, so you actually have to tell the IBIS that it is a 12 millimeter and punch that in. And so uh, aperture is manual, manual focus. And this allows me to use the IBIS as well. What is super surprising is the only native RF glass I have, which is the Sam Yang uh, 14 millimeter 2.8 autofocus, does not allow me to use the IBIS, only the um, uh, digital stabilization. The other one is, and this was very shocking, is the 16 to 35 uh, EF um, lens, the Canon one. This is an F4. The image stabilization on here works great, but I'm not able to use any IBIS. Even if I turn this off, I cannot choose um, IBIS in the camera either. So this doesn't work with it. And neither does the uh, 70, sorry, the cap's not really on, the 70 or the 24 to 70 G2 Tamron, uh, IBIS doesn't work. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. If I need to update these lenses firmware, if I have to do something like that, let me know. I mean, this is kind of a SOS video because I really want these things to work, especially, especially the Sam Yang 14 millimeter because that's what I'm using for the video walkthroughs. I'm on a gimbal, I am shooting 60 frames per second, I am able to slow it down and make it look smooth, but it's gonna look a lot smoother if I can use the in-body stabilization, which I would love to use, and it does not work with that lens. Okay, right now I have the R6 with the adapter, and it's got the 50 millimeter uh, Canon 1.8. It's on autofocus right now and just make sure this is in focus. And so what I do is I go right into the menu and um, see, IBIS is off. If you go here and I go to image stabilization, you have two options right there. You have the IS mode is off and you have the digital IS, which is off. So digital IS is not the IBIS, the IS mode is IBIS. We'll hit on. And now it shows the little wavy hand and optical image stabilization is on for that. And it works just fine. Okay. And so now I have the um, Rokinon 12 millimeter fisheye, uh, 100%, oh, we're going down, uh, 
100% manual, including the aperture and the focus ring right here. And you go in and it's actually automatically showing IBIS is on with it, but we'll go into the menu anyways. So if you go right into the menu with this camera and we go into, there you go. Uh, the focal length, because it is a 100% manual lens, let me choose 12 millimeter. So it opened up this other menu right here. So if we click on that, and then I can change it to whatever. It is a 12 millimeter. If it was a 24 millimeter, uh, completely manual, then I would put in 24 millimeter, 50 or so on. So I cancel, um, and then digital IS is off, and we can turn IS off. And so that's what that looks like. So this is the G2, um, 24 to 70. It does show that image stabilization is on right now, but that's only because I have it on here. So I will turn it off on the lens and now it shows off. Okay, so then if I go into the menu, so go into menu, go to IS, and all I get is digital IS is my only option. Even if I turn it on here, Nothing happens, we'll go out. I will turn on digital IS. It shows the little no wavy on there, which is great. And then I will go in just to verify into IS. And there's no IBIS option at all, which is very, very frustrating. So if you know the fix for that, that'd be great. I'm gonna show you the other lenses as well. All right, this is the Canon 16 to 35. So the 16 to 35 is an L lens uh, on the EF adapter, just like the G2 was. And right now it shows that um, it is off. There is no IBIS on it. If I turn on the, uh, or the um, uh, image stabilization, all of a sudden it changes to show that it has image stabilization on. But if I go into the menu and I go into image stabilization, it is only digital IS and it says off. So I have no idea why that happens. And if I turn off the uh, digital stabilization or turn it back on, we should say, um, well, no, off, I guess. It still doesn't um, give me an option of doing IBIS. So it's uh, off now, we'll go back in. There still isn't an option to use the IBIS in the camera at all. So now I have the uh, autofocus 14 millimeter 2.8 RF mount on top of the um, uh, the R6 and we'll just focus on there and if you look at it it says image stabilization is off this is an autofocus lens um, and it is where I can do override and manual focus as well um, but does not have any image stabilization whatsoever if I go to menu I go to IS I only have digital IS as an option, um, which is absolutely, absolutely frustrating with this whole thing. Because this is the lens I want image stabilization so I can actually do a video walkthrough smoother than even on the gimbal alone. So there you have it. Um, I cannot get my other lenses to operate, which is, I mean, the main one out of all of them that I really wanna work is the 14 millimeter. So the 50 millimeter 1.8 on the EF adapter totally works just fine. Um, and that is a Canon native EF lens on the adapter. The Rokinon EF lens on the adapter works just fine too, which makes me think, well, if that's allowed to work, why can't any other one? And if the communication isn't there, is there a way to override it where I can give the focal length to the IBIS inside the computer and just say, hey, I've got a 14 millimeter. Can we use that? Um, or is there a firmware update I'm not familiar with? Or do I need a firmware update for all my lenses so the R6 can identify it as a uh, camera that can use IBIS? I have no freaking clue. And that's why I made this video so you guys can go out and help me out because this is critical for me. I mean, it was one of the reasons why I bought the R6 was for the image stabilization, the in-body, so all my non-IS lenses like this one would work perfectly when on a gimbal. So those little micro jitters will be completely gone even when I slow it down 
to 30 frames per second. <sighs> Please let me know if it's something I'm doing, if there's a backwards way of finding it, if Canon it happens to be watching this, if you guys can do a firmware update, um, or here's the thing I never thought of, maybe I just have a defective R6, and if that's the case, I need to know now so I can return this and get a better one that actually works for the IBIS. Please let me know. Leave any comments below. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, encourages me to make more of these videos and look forward to seeing my next video, uh, which is going to be a total review. It'll be a longer one. First impressions, how I've been using it over the last week and the real world situations of the camera. So hope you're doing well. And until next time, Jared Hoyman with visibletour.com. See ya.